Well, hello there, and welcome to Thursday's Live with Jim. Uh, it's good to have you with us today. I'm glad you're watching, and I hope you're going to have fun today. We're doing something, well, two things a little different. Uh, one, we're going to do a quick sketch of an elephant. Now, when I say quick sketch, I don't just mean like in about 30 seconds or anything like that. Uh, that's uh, something called gesture drawing, <clears throat> and uh, we may try that uh, eventually, but uh, right now, what I mean, mean by quick sketch is uh, kind of what we see uh, right here, where I'm going to take a, a photo of an elephant, and uh, just going to do a quick outline sketch. It'll take a few minutes to do it, but I'm going to show you how I come up with this freehand sketch, uh, as opposed to, you know, tracing the uh, elephant. You know, tracing is, is uh, something that almost any artist does early on, but you eventually want to move away from that, and you want to get to where you can, uh, you can draw freehand, you can sketch, and uh, so I'm going to give you an idea of how, uh, how I do that. And uh, then uh, the second thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to play a game, a creativity game, called uh, 30 Circles, and uh, this is one I have never done before. I said the creativity exercises we were going to do uh, this month uh, I, uh, I I have never done before, and uh, this will be my very first time doing it, and uh, so so we'll see how it goes. Uh, now, if you want to do the 30 circles game uh, along with me, uh, if you are watching on the Facebook page, open another tab on your browser, and you can go to the uh, activities page of See the Light. And uh, you'll see just uh, near the bottom of the page where the video of this lesson is going, uh, there'll be an image of the 30 circles. Uh, actually, it's only 10 circles because I wanted to keep them big enough that I didn't have to adjust the size of the page on my screen uh, when I work on it. So, so you'd need to download it and print it out three times if you want to try to do that. Or you can just do it after, uh, after we're done. Uh, you can watch, it, watch me and, and, and laugh uh, with me as I... Uh, stumble through and try to uh, do that exercise. Uh, also, there is a copy of the uh, elephant reference picture uh, on that uh, same page, uh, just right beside the 30 circles, and uh, you can download that if you want to use that for future reference. Now, to give you an idea of where we're going, uh, not where we're going today, this is where we're going today, but where you can go with this, I'm going to turn this layer off, and uh, this is what I did a couple of days ago, uh, beginning with that kind of a sketch that we just saw. Uh, and I, I went from there and uh, modified and adjusted it. And uh, in the coming weeks, I'm going to show you how to take this uh, basic sketch uh, that we're doing and uh, turn it into uh, something a little bit more finished. So, uh, so we'll be working on this elephant for a couple of weeks now. Uh, but uh, this, is, this is where we're going. If you want to draw along with me, all you need is a pencil and paper, or if you're using a digital app, uh, then uh, have your tablet, uh, a, a stylus, and uh, I'm working in Art Rage, which is what I, I like to work in a lot, uh, particularly for this kind of drawing, um, because it lets me put a reference picture up. So I'm going to close this down. Well, no, I'm not going to close it down yet, because there's something I wanted to show you, and that's what I'm looking for. Uh, when when I begin to do a drawing like this, when I'm trying to do a, a quick sketch, I uh, I really look for three things. Uh, first, I look at the contour. Let's make sure I've got the right thing selected here. Contour. The contour is often just the outside of whatever it is I'm trying to draw. So uh, as I do this sketch, I'm going to be observing uh, the outside edge, and I'm going to be observing some of the inside edges also of this. Uh, you remember, if you followed with me for very long, that uh, I, I harp a lot on learning how to do contour drawing, which is just looking at something and drawing its outside edge. Uh, and uh, that's something that's a skill that helps you when you begin to try to do uh, the kind of drawing that I'm doing today. 
next thing that I'm going to be looking for is shape or shapes. Okay, so like as I look at this elephant, uh, first I see, <clears throat> excuse me, I see a, uh, a triangular shape, sort of. It's actually almost like a diamond shape if you, you know, if you look at how this whole, uh, uh, how the, the elephant's physique goes, uh, almost like a diamond, um, a little wide at the bottom, but, uh, you know, you, you see another, again, kind of a triangular, almost diamond-like shape here. Um, and then when you come in here, you know, you're going to see another shape that is kind of like a trapezoid, maybe a pentagon. Well, one, two, three, four, five, I say one, two, three, four, five, six. So a hexagon, but not really a hexagon because it's not, uh, you know, it's not even sides, but it's six-sided. So anyway, that's, uh, that's something that I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to be observing shapes. Okay, just like that and uh, all the way down. Uh, and uh, then the other thing that I'm going to be looking for uh, are uh, contrast. And that's patterns of light and dark. Okay, so here we've got a lot of light and dark on this image. We've got a nice dark section here. It's a lot more light over here, a little dark section there, a little dark section there. Uh, so, so those are the three things that I'm going to be observing uh, as we do this uh, quick sketch. So now I'm going to uh, add a, another layer, and I'm going to turn off that layer, and I'm going to turn off that layer, and we're going to draw on layer four. And one of the reasons I like Art Rage, particularly for this kind of drawing, is it lets me use a reference photo, which I've already got set up here. And so I can just manipulate or move that. I can enlarge it. I can shrink it. Uh, and uh, it's not part of the drawing itself. It's uh, there for me to look at if I need it, but I don't have to keep it there. So I'm trying to shrink it down just a little bit here. Okay, so how am I going to draw this and where am I going to start? In my case, and again, a lot of times this just is a characteristic of me, I always tend to start from the left, and that's largely because I'm left-handed. Uh, and so a natural drawing motion for me is from left to right. If you're right-handed, you might do it the other way around. But I pick a, a, a spot on the, uh, on the elephant itself, and in this case, uh, I chose right here on uh, this edge of uh, his ear. And uh, the reason I do that simply is, uh, uh, again, I'm left-handed, that's where I want to start. Uh, let me make sure my color is, I'm going with kind of a charcoal gray here. I'm going to work with my pencil. Okay, so uh, Art Rage has a really nice pencil tool. Uh, so let me start with that, and I'm going to just come over here. And again, this is a quick sketch, but it's not, it's not an instant sketch. I'm not trying to do everything just really fast. I'm just trying to follow the outline. Now, if you're working on paper, you're going to want to kind of take note of where you are uh, on that paper. I'm just following along here uh, because as you're going to see here in a, in a minute I'm probably going to have to shrink my elephant down and move him or her a little bit. I don't know if it's a male or a female. Uh, okay, but I've got that kind of that, that uh, sort of triangular shape coming over here. I've got kind of a bend here, so I'm going to throw that bend in there, bring it down. I'm going to ignore the tusk for right now. I come up here, you notice here in the skull, I've got kind of a, a depressed area right here too. I'm going to just throw in something to kind of indicate that. That goes down around, 
and kind of becomes an eye socket. The other eye you can't see very well because uh, it's in shadow. But I'm going to draw a line there anyway. The, uh, the other thing with this kind of sketching is don't you know, obsess over making it perfect right now. Uh, right now what you're trying to do in a quick sketch like this is just get the general feel. Okay, a lot of the element's body is going to start right here, about not quite halfway down the ear. I'm going to just get that down here like this. Here's the front leg. So I'm going to bring that around. Okay, I'm not going to do the feet right now. Okay, now as I'm coming back here to the uh, really the very top of the trunk, it's going to come down and it kind of swings out. And then it goes down at an angle. Okay, I'm going to bring that ear in now. And you'll notice that I, I tend to bounce to different parts of the elephant as, uh, as I do a drawing like this. Uh, let me get that out of the way. Okay, so let me kind of come in here. We're going to bring the trunk down and it's going to just kind of swing around. And same here. Okay, now I'm coming down here and I'm going to bring that leg down. Okay, and I'm going to move my elephant a little bit here so I can shrink him down. There we go. Gives me a little bit more space to work with. Okay. I'm going to get back to my pencil. Okay. And actually I'm going to erase part of this. I try not to do too much correcting when I do a quick sketch like this, but sometimes, like in this case, I had the foot, the leg, and the foot kind of bowing out a little bit too much. Okay, I come up here like this. Okay, let's bring the tusk around. Kind of got not a real sharp pointy end, it's sort of a rounded end. Okay, now we're going to come over here. And again, all of this would be adjusted in in second second drafts, if you will. Now, how do you do that if you're working with paper? Well, if you're working with paper, you're going to um, you're going to want to keep this initial drawing fairly light. You want to be able to see what you're doing, but uh, but you you don't want the marks so dark that you can't uh, erase them. So so go with a light touch. If you're working digitally like I am, it's very easy to erase and make changes. And as you just saw, I mean, I can even select things and, and move them around if I need to. Uh, okay, I'm just throwing in some of the shadow here. Okay, coming around. My picture cuts off at the bottom, so I don't have the the details, so I'm just kind of throwing in and imagining the detail myself. Okay, you notice there's a little bit of a gap here. And that's a little thin for that leg, so let me bring that over a little bit. Switch to my eraser, take that out, and go back. Okay, and then we're going to come up. And that leg is going to come up here. A little gap and there's this area back here is dark okay there's more of the body back here and the other leg and all that okay let's come over here and do this other tusk you'll notice this tusk comes down farther than that one I think I probably went a little bit too far on that one so let's shorten that just a bit back
And I'm going to get my eraser and take that line out. Okay, now I'm going to come in here. Let's, let's give the elephant a hint of an eye. Again, the other eye is kind of back here in shadow, so you don't really see it in the photo. Okay. And if you want to, you can add some of these shading lines in here. Now, next week, and I'm going to save this picture exactly as is, and we'll pick it up next week and refine it a little farther. Uh, but um, And we'll add in shadowing and, and all of that. Okay, so... We've got the elephant, and I think the foot there is a little bit too far down. So let me and there's a very quick sketch of an elephant. Uh, it's, this is, again, what I would call a first draft. This is where uh, I'm going to come in, I'm going to make changes, I'm going to modify it. Uh, what I will ultimately do is, uh, let me turn this layer off and turn this one back on, I'll come back in again uh, darker and highlight the lines that I'm really wanting. Okay, so what I would do is I would add one more layer here and then once I was happy with everything, and I might look and say, well, you know, that needs to come down a little bit more like that. So let's adjust. Remember, if you're working, whoops, I'm on the wrong layer here. Oh, I was, there, I got to draw back here. There we go. Ah, that's the only thing with the, uh, Digital art is you got to remember what layer you're drawing on. Okay, so I'm I'm not gonna. What I'll do is I'm gonna just merge that layer down. That combines the layers, and then I can do what I was trying to do in the first place, which was adjust that a little bit. Okay, so and you can play and play and play and have lots of fun. Let me add in layer five now. Now what I would do is come in. And then I would start to refine that. If you're working digitally, you'll do that on another layer. If you're working with a pencil on paper, you're going to just go over the lines that you already drew, uh, but you're going to go a little bit more confidently. And, oops, I moved my elephant around there. There's a button on my stylus, and if I accidentally push it... Now this still is not the final version as I go in and darken things. This is just step two for me. And one thing you're going to find is that different artists do things different ways. There are a lot of things that are uh, consistent across the board, but every artist has his or her own approach that works for them. And, uh, and what you have to do as an artist is find out what works best for you. And then now you always want to listen to teachers and try different things. but you're also going to learn what techniques work best for you, what styles work best for you, what you like to draw, what you don't like to draw, your subject matter, the message you're trying to get across with your art. All of that is part of growing as an artist, and uh, so you're going to want to work on all of those things as you go. And this is going to actually come down in here. You can't see it in the photo because it's too dark, but it's going to be in front. 
and then if you turn off the lower layer, okay, now I'm going to, I would come in here and add a little bit more detail. And then I would also come in and use my eraser and refine some of these lines. And make things look a little sharper. I'm not going to do that today because uh, uh, we don't have the time. But uh, what we are going to do is, again, I'm going to save this uh, sketch as is. And then uh, next week, we're going to uh, take it a step farther. Uh, and I'll show you how to ultimately uh, turn it into uh, something that looks like that. Uh, and it'll take a few weeks to do that. Uh, I think we're about out of time. Uh, I, uh, I hope uh, that you have enjoyed this. Uh, one reason that uh, I chose an elephant is uh, just, you know, there are certain creatures on Earth that just reflect the majesty and power of God. And I, I think uh, elephants are one of those. Uh, they, are, they are so huge and so majestic. Uh, and it's just, you know, it amazes me knowing that our God uh, could make something so big and so powerful. And of course, we, we know we're not even talking about dinosaurs at this point, which, you know, would make an elephant look small. But it's one of the bigger things that we have to look at. And uh, just a reminder of the majesty and, and power of God, uh, for whom nothing is impossible. And I'm living proof of that. Uh, so, well, I hope you have had a good time today. I have. And uh, next week, we're going to take the elephant a step further. And I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of blending and turn those lines uh, that you have into something that looks a little bit more maybe elephantish. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, but anyway, it's been a great day. I hope you've had a good time. I have. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. And uh, keep drawing. And remember, always have fun. Thanks a lot.